Question number 10 on periodic functions. Sketch the graph of a non-sinusoidal periodic function with period of 5 and whose range is y belong to real numbers greater than or equal to minus 2 and less than or equal to 4. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestion. Well, there is no particular answer for this. You can get n number of graphs which will satisfy this particular condition. Well, let's see how to answer this type of question. So the question is, sketch a graph of non-sinusoidal periodic function. So a critical word here is non-sinusoidal. So don't make a sine curve. Periodic, okay, function with period of 5. So it repeats after every five units, right? So let's have on x-axis, one, two, three, four, five. So that is how it's going to repeat. Whenever we're trying to draw a sketch of a periodic function, if not specified, we should at least give three cycles. So let me say this is five, one, two, three, four, five, ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15. So let's draw three cycles. Now the next statement is that whose range is between minus 2 and 4. All real numbers means connected line, right? So between minus 2 and 4. Minus 2 is right there. So let's say this is minus 2. So let me draw a dotted line so that I define my area. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 for me. Okay. So something in between these two lines, which is minus 2 and 4. non sinusoidal that means better to stick with some straight lines. It will be easy for us. And then it will be easy for you to understand also. So let me draw one. So what we need to do is draw something here and repeat it. So let's start with the minimum value and go to the maximum. So one way is that we can go straight like this and then well let's change it a bit. Let's say we make it like this right and then we can finish it off at 5. Let us see. That is how it is. If we do this then how will the next cycle repeat? That's a good question. Well, we have to start from here. Now look at it. If I continue and then go, then it's a different function and the period is not 5. So what I need to do here is that I have to break and then start this cycle all over again. So I'll again start from here, right? Join this. Do you see that? And then what I did was that I have to finish here joining these points right and then let me just repeat the same pattern do you see that part well this particular solution is the right solution of course but with a discontinuity that's fine well that is not specified here right so it's okay so let's repeat like this that is we start from the lowest value in this particular case go up and then mark go n so that becomes my three cycles so these are the three cycles which i've drawn right they are non-sinusoidal and here as you can see minimum value is minus two maximum is four correct and it's a periodic function since it repeats correct so that is how we can actually draw this now one critical thing is that at five we have a function which has two values. That means it is no more a function, right? So what we can do is, we can say, well, at 5, we have a hole. Do you understand? And the real value starts from minus 2 because we have to maintain that minus 2 as the minimum value. So our function is kind of not including this point. We approach this point, but not include, but we include this point, right? So that is how we can make it a function also. So what I'm trying to teach here is that when we have a term function, 
we should ensure that it does not fail vertical line test. If I draw a vertical line at 5 and if I don't write a hole here, that means it is no more a function. At 5, it could have a value of minus 2 or of 0. That is to be appreciated. Second part which you need to appreciate is that your periodic function could have a kind of discontinuity. Do you understand? It could have a discontinuity, but still it is a function which repeats and therefore and it has a period, right? So I think those are the points which I have tried to make with this simple example. Well, you could have made so many different types of examples, right? You could go like this straight and then continue, right? So there are so many examples which you could have given, but the idea of choosing this one over others is to elaborate on a couple of concepts and that is kind of reminder that a function means it should not fail the vertical line test. Second, periodic means it may or may not be continuous. Okay. So at this instance, it starts all over again. That is how sometimes machines do work, right? Once operation is done, again we pick up the next item and continue. So that is how we can draw a periodic function which may or may not be continuous, but still meet our requirements. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.